Hello, welcome to Tanya's Beauty Box. I am Tanya, and today we're going to play in some makeup. My screen is dirty here. Just getting that off of there. Um, <clears throat> I did a series of uh, videos recently where I, well, not series, but I showed you this palette, my man Eater palette. So I want to go ahead and use it while I was still excited about it. Um, so we're just going to go through and get ready. I've already done my brows with my Ruby Kisses. Um, pencil brow, brow pencil, and black brown or brown black, one or the other. We're going to put on becoming a new favorite, the Grown Alchemist Anti Pollution Primer. Not that you can see that. I got a, every video I say something about these lights. And have I done anything about them? No. This is how it's coming out like a silicone based. But, when you put it on, it's like the filling of water, and it glides so effortlessly on the skin. Get a little closer here. So, I really like it. <clears throat> I can never get the cap back on. Never get the cap back on. Boy, I turn it off. I have some things behind me that I'll be reaching back for. So, um, because I don't have enough room between my work stuff and my video stuff. So, we got our primer on. So, the next step would be foundation. This is the Clinique Even Better Glow Light Reflecting Makeup. Broad Spectrum 6, not 65, 15 in clothes. We're going to put some of this onto this brush. This is the Sigma 4D HD Kabuki. I got this from Ipsy, from the Ipsy store. The Ipsy Boxy store, whatever you want to call it nowadays. I don't know what it is. I don't know if Ipsy knows what they are. They are going downhill, in my opinion. I have two separate accounts, and they send me the same thing for the Power Picks. On both accounts and I know I couldn't answer both of the I mean what's the likelihood that I answer with the same answers for both accounts I have a mirror here that I'm looking at into what is the probability of that I don't know I went back in and changed some answers on the primary um, boxy Probably about Ipsy. And last month I got the same thing. I got two two of the same palettes and two of the same creams. The month before that, same thing. Got two of the same palettes and two of the same. I don't remember, but this time I'm getting two creams and two of the same uh, cream brushes from Tarte. And they had different shades available of the blush. They could have gave me one blush. In the lighter color, the one blush, and the like this hot pink color. But no, I'm getting two of the same, and it's the color is called Orchid. I'm not looking forward to that. Not looking forward to it at all. I don't think it's really going to work for me. But we shall see. I have been pleasantly surprised by some um, liquid blushes, cream blushes. <clears throat> In the past, so maybe this will surprise me again. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in Hazelnut Dark Circle Eraser. And I definitely have dark circles. I think this is a hereditary thing because no matter what amount of water. I consume, I always seem to keep these dark circles. I get more than enough sleep because I go to bed early. I used to go to bed around 8 30, 9 o'clock. Now I'm usually like actually sleep around 10. And I don't get up to like 7. So 
I'm getting enough sleep. I just don't know where these circles are. They just never dissipate. This might be a little longer video. I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna keep you long on purpose, but I'm also not gonna rush, rush through it either. I find that I rush through and I don't um, blend as well as I could have or should have. I'm taking a powder puff and the L'Oreal True Match um, powder foundation in C6. I've hit pan. We're going under the eye with that powder to, to set that under eye concealer. I'm going up at an angle. To the temple. Now we're going to go in with the finishing powder in deep. This is the KVD Locket finishing powder. I'm not going to overstuff. That's what I do. The brush is stuck I'm using a Japanese brush that I got in friend mail from Diala's makeup. No, I think I want something. I don't know. Stuff starting to um, blend in at this point. I'm also using this to tone down and blend in the powder I just put under the eye. But this is a finishing powder. Get up under that chin to kind of meld everything together so it doesn't look like it's so stark. I put this back in, maybe, maybe it'll fit, maybe not. It doesn't want to go back in the container. I got this little container holder too from her. I take something out in order to you to get that back in. Now we're going to go into blush. We're going to use our Dominique Cosmetics Clean Blush and Natural Rose. I just grabbed this. Packaging is really cute. That's the color. This is Natural Rose. I'm using a lip bar brush and I love blush so I might be a little heavy handed with it probably putting on way more than you would but I think it's something about the fact that it makes you smile well don't make you smile the application process consists sometimes of you smiling And I think that just amps up the um, the good feeling of putting it on. No, I'm not done yet. And I know I'm putting a cream on top of the powder. But it's working. All right. I'm not going to go ham with the blush. Although I could go ham with the blush. I feel like my face is getting cut off a little bit. I don't bronze. I don't contour. Nope, not yet. I haven't mastered those things. Therefore, I don't do them. I have a bronzing powder from ABH and Mahogany. That's basically my skin tone. I don't know how I would bronze with it. So I use it as all of a powder. Next. We're going to use a Fenty Pro Filter Visa Pink Amplifying Eye Primer. My nails are trying to split on me. They're trying to chip and crack. They're being unruly. 
They're just being honorably. So please forgive them if they look a little ragged. You don't want to play fair. Do not want to play fair. Today is the holiday. It's September the 4th. It is Labor Day. And I had commented under, I think, um, Accessorize Your Life. Was it Accessorize Your Life? No. That's a great channel. Try to look her up. Her name is Julia. I was commenting under somebody's channel. It might have been Beauty Over Age. They used to be Niecy W Beauty. It's now Beauty Over Age. Her name is Denise. It may have been her Monday makeup video that I used to think that Labor Day, when I was way younger, before I even had kids, was, and maybe, maybe a, a few years into me having children, because I had them very um, early, that Labor Day was for mothers that had given birth. That was our day. It was Labor Day. And then click that it has something to do with the United Auto Workers and unions till way down the line. Okay. Now, let's get into this palette. This Band Eater palette called Nightfall. I have the original, which is called After Dark. And I found myself like doing a lot of um, looks with it on camera. I thought maybe you guys were getting sick of it, so I kind of put it down. But this is the color story. And the reason why I picked it up is because I saw quads of looks. There are 24 shades and to me, six quads. So I'm thinking if I want to go simple, stay in this little quad here, or go bold and do this quad here. I think I'm going to go bold and utilize that blue. No, I'm going to keep it simple because I got on a lot of blush and I don't want to look, I don't want to say crazy, but I think I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to use this brush here. Not that brush. This brush. From Crown. The words are running off of it at this point. And we're going to go into this color called Smolder. This is orangey color. Right here. Now, the other day when I swatched some of them, I did swatch Smolder and it did not. like um have a lot of kick up but that was apparently from driving my finger in it this has a little bit of kick up in the pan i'm going to take this in the crease and place it and blend it A little bit more. And we're going to take our time and blend this out pretty good. Okay. I'm loving that blush. I don't know what it is. I used to be a lip gloss thing. You can tell me nothing about no lip gloss. I was gonna wear some. I used to get in trouble at school, like in middle school, junior high, for wearing that lip gloss. That one that not gloss, but it used to be like a um, the pH balance lipstick from way back in the day. And this was like like eighty one, two, three. <laughs> that shows you how old I am. The um, green. Lipstick that used to turn pink with your pH balance. I love that stuff. And I always thought 
why can't I wear it? My homeroom teacher would get on me about wearing it. And it's like, but I love her it. It is again Labor Day. People are out cooking and spending time with family. It's just me and my son, my youngest son in the house right now. My oldest is out with his girlfriend. He's been gone for a couple of days. Um, hopefully he's been going to work too. Um, let me get this towel here. And I know I say I'm a lot. I'm working on it. However, I'm going to see if I can entice my youngest to go out to dinner. I don't want to cook nothing. I ain't in the mood. Now we're going to take... What can we take? We're going to take on my finger... This color called Meats. This bright gold situation. And we're going to put that on the lid with my lovely finger. It's so creamy. Look at that. Look how that's worn up. Wipe it off. Any residues have a clean application on this other side. I like it so much. I'm bring it over a little bit more. All right. I'm going to take that brush that we're just using. And we're not going to add any additional product. But we're going to do this. We're going to blend between the two. So it's not such a hard line of demarcation. So it can be a little bit seamless. Am I getting any fallout? I got gold speckles all over my face. So I've got golden freckles. So that is getting fallout. Now we're going to go into the, and this is probably going to mess it up. But we're going to go into this color. It's like gold flake, this mix. We're going to go into this color called Alpha. Let me move this over so we can see it before I put my finger in it. This is Alpha. I'm going to go into Alpha with the finger and put that on the inner. Hmm. Probably should have did that to backwards. I'm not one of those people that love a bright inner corner. So this is fine for me. For others, I'm sure they would want something with a little bit more oomph. But not me, sister and brother. I can do without the oomph. Now we're going to take this brush from Half Caked. This way from Half Caked, the 808 blender. And we're going to go in with, not with our finger, but with this brush into this darkest shade. Move that over again. Into T's. Not kicking up too much powder at all. Very saturated color. Knock some of that off and go in the inner corner here. Excuse that little ding. Apparently, I have notifications on for our email, and every time an email comes through, it dings me, which is cool because I can just delete it before I have to open up the entire 
email um, tab. I'm gonna just delete it when I see it pop up. Like there's usually ads. Now we're doing the other side. That's a great color considering how dark skin I am. That is coming across not black. If you cannot see that it's brown. Well, I can. I hope you can too. But I'm going to get into that blue quad. I'm playing it safe this today. <laughs> Maybe because I went so bold with the blush. I don't want to overtake anything. Especially if I go out. Now, most of the time I don't care because I wear glasses and uh, people can't see what's behind my glasses anyway. I really like this palette. It was easy to put on. The colors are creamy and silky. It's just a matter of figuring out um, looks. And like I said, because I was able to see quads in the in the um in the palette, it made me want to get it. Say, oh, there's a look, there's a look. And the reason why I was able to see quads is because Diala's makeups um, a few more than a few videos back said that that's what she kind of does with her palette. She sees quads or flints or whatever. And uh, that helps create looks. Mine are more subdued than hers. But I think that's pretty. Now, I need liner. And the liner should be over here somewhere. Find it for me. Okay. We're going to take the Intenso from Tress Loose. And I have a primer from them that I need to start using. I'm going to have to use that. This is black, but it's a great black. It's smooth. It just glides on the eye effortlessly. try this new mascara that I received in friend mail. The ladies on YouTube in the beauty community are so generous and gracious and friendly. They're just audacious. Um, I got this in friend mail. I wasn't even expecting anything from her from way across the sea from Wendy Wise Beauty. I also did a um, video showcasing the things that she sent to me and asking you guys to go over there and give her some support. This is, let me try to get this, these freckles off me. Because it's messing with my vision. I see something glowing on my cheek. But this is the Volume Fresh Cucumber Mascara, extra black. With organic cucumber. I'm going to assume this is something that you get. That you only can get across the pond. And look at this brush. Now I think I remember a, something of mascara having a brush similar to this. And Bam Bam La Rock Pro mascara. But it was a little bit more bulbous on the end. But... Let's put this on the top of the lashes and then underneath the lashes. It's a nice mascara. It's organic. So that's good for your eyelashes, I suppose. Let's go in. 
for the other side. Tops and bottom. When I say top and bottom, I mean top of the upper lashes. I don't usually put mascara or anything on my lower lash line. My eyes water so freaking much that it'll just be gone. So, I typically don't mess around with that too much. I keep dropping the little towel I'm using to wipe off excess makeup on my fingers or places. Don't know why. It just keeps dropping off my lap. Okay. I'm going to do a second coat. That's me. My vision diverted to that pop-up. Let's do this side, uh, get that side a chance to dry a little bit. And it's not um, hitting my uh, lid or anything, which is good. I like leaving the streets. All right. Thank you, Wendy. Much appreciate you. Now, we're going to get into our lip combo. We're going to get into this molasses liner. This Pat McGrath lip gloss in bronze Venus. And the liquid lippy. In Nocturnal Amour from Pat McGrath. So I figured this would be a nice combo together. At least I hope it will. First thing I'm going to do is line my lips, take off this gloss. I wish this strap would stay up. I won't look like I'm sitting here naked. <laughs> it just glides on. Next, we're going to take the liquid lippy and nocturnal abhor. And that's more than enough. I didn't need all that. Okay, put it back in its box. I don't know why I'm keeping the box. I need more makeup storage, but then that's going to lead to getting more makeup, which I don't need. And I'm really thinking about, um, well, I am going to cancel one of those boxes, one of those boxy charm boxes. As soon as I get my box of charm, then I'll go in and cancel it. I want to cancel it. Then they have a problem delivering my stuff that's already been paid for. But, um, look, it just makes you smile when you put it on. I don't know. I was just like diffusing it a little bit more. And it's so comfortable. But I am thinking about, in addition to canceling the one box and getting rid of the whole thing in its entirely entirety and maybe focusing on some new boxes um, for the channel a lot of my content comes from half of my content 
<laughs> which means I have to switch up how I do things comes from the unboxing and I know that my niece enjoys doing it so that gives us something to do together but um, yeah I just decided to I had a lease and I didn't know people paid exorbitant amounts for car notes because my car note has always been between like two and three hundred dollars if that and, and that's been over the past since like 2004 my mother worked at Ford so I would get Fords and then I somehow or another got into a Lincoln and when I went in this is the first time well since my mother's not here I can't use her plan anymore I have a plan through my current employer but it's not the same as getting an A plan it's an X plan but it still will save you some money so it's not bad I thought I would have to be able to use that but because it's considered a used vehicle at this point I couldn't use any plans, so I wouldn't have been able to use my mom anyway. But I wouldn't want one of those Corsairs or Navigators. Or, and they're not making sedans anymore. I need a car. I do not need an SUV. That's just too dang big for me. But I digress. So I didn't know that people paid like $400 upwards for car notes. And I'm looking at this new note, and I'm thinking back over the years, it's like, I had worse credit <laughs> way back when. And it's just the nature of the, be of the beast at this point. So it's not that much more than what I was spending, but it's almost the exact amount of these beauty boxes. So it's like, do I need a car? Or do I need beauty boxes? I'm gonna take bronze Venus, which is a lippy. We're gonna put that over the top of the nocturnal and more. a little bit more I love a gloss I love a gloss and it, it smells good it smells like vanilla like cupcakes and that is the look now do you want me to put some hair on so it look a little bit better Got a goop going on. Don't need a goop. Let's just put on a wig real quick. This is called Celebrity. Just like lashes, having your hair done will look amps it up. I could get lashes on, you couldn't tell me nothing. Nothing. But I can't get them freaking lashes on. So I have to rely on very good mascaras. So here's the look. I'm liking the eye. I'm really liking the eye. I still gotta do that latte thing. I have a um sex set, which is six shadows from Bare Minerals. It's probably more than three years old at this point. And the actual sex tat is called Latte. But it has a lot of these colors in it. It's not like a creamy beige or anything like that. Which would look good on me no way. But I'm, I still want to try the Latte look. And see what I can do with it. How it turns out. But this is today's look. Hopefully, I'll go somewhere. Someone will see me in it. I don't know. It's that blush, man. The blush just makes you happy. It just makes you happy. If I can contour and highlight and bronze. I'm not a big highlighter either. Um, that probably would really amp up what's going on with the face. But this is me. This is how I do things. I keep it fairly simple. I'm loving this lip. Except for this feeling of hair that's on it. <laughs> I'm going to go. I don't want to keep you too much longer. 
Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time. I appreciate the investment that you make with your time in my channel. And I will see you soon. Stay with the goal. Let your inner whimsy sign. And we'll be back with another video soon. All right. Bye-bye.